I wanted to make a change in the world. I liked working with youth, so I became a social worker with kids on the street. And if you give them the right opportunity, you give them the right services, you give them the right support, it's amazing what transformation can happen in people's lives. I had one success story I'm really proud of. I was involved in orchestrating intervention with a kid from Hazleton, a young woman who was 14. I felt she, you know, the day she was going to die in the streets of Vancouver because she hooked up with the wrong people. And uh, when I connected with the local band who accepted responsibility for her and they said they would provide her a safe place, and then literally two days later when I did a follow-up call, I said, well, yeah, she took the high heels off and all the street clothing off and now she's back in her running shoes and she's safe. When I first opened Native Northwest, there was virtually no Indigenous individual or First Nations working in the field of doing product development of, uh, with Indigenous or First Nations art. So I started working with artists and did uh, formal arrangements and legal agreements with artists to try to represent their art, their culture, their family, their community in a more sub meaningful way. We were impressed with the University of Fraser Valley because of their excellent work with Indigenous communities. We want to support their initiatives and in particular we want to support their early childhood development programs and their language retention programs, their promotion programs, and also uh, their, their other teaching programs. So we gave scholarships for each of those programs. The Orange Shirt story was inspired by Phyllis Webstead's story and we were the first company to come up with an orange shirt. So, so Phyllis Webstead was taken to a residential school by her grandmother, but before she went, her grandmother bought her an orange shirt. And it was immediately, when she went to the school, it was taken away from her. Then she was put, in, put on a uniform. And she felt it was a stripping of her identity and herself. So orange shirts, uh, which are celebrated on Indigenous um, Reconciliation Day on September 30th, uh, was a way to recognize that that loss of culture, loss of language, loss of self. And now it's becoming a, a, an opportunity to reclaim you know, Indigenous identity and Indigenous culture and language. And we came out with orange shirts to try to raise funds to try to give back to the communities. And so that's been an important mission for us every year for September 30th. But I think you know, with reconciliation, it's a, it's a really wonderful topic. And it really raises the issue for everybody in Canada to consider as an individual or company or organization, what can you do to improve the lives of Indigenous people who have had, suffered a lot of hardship because of colonization.